tayo namin iahatid sa inyo ang pinaka magagaling na girls high school volleyball team sa bansa. This is the 2023 Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament. You can see St. Clair on your screens ang makakalaban ng FEU para sa ating pangatlong laban for today. We are still here live at the Rizal. No, not Rizal. This is the San Andres Sports Complex at the Itong mga laban natin, we have six games for today. First game, UST defeating Naga College Foundation in three sets. Kings Montessori School showing supremacy, you know, getting their first win against Lyceum in two straight sets. At sa pangatlong laro natin, it's again the Far Eastern University, the Leman, you will uh, play against the St. Clair College of Caloocan. And of course, to our uh, pre-huddle, uh, of the game, this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Our tournament format. Uh, okay, tournament okay. format, 16 teams divided to four pools, A, B, C, and D. Uh, preliminary round matches will be played in the best of three sets. Top two teams per pool will advance to the next round. Uh, the remaining eight teams will battle it out in a crossover quarterfinals. Then the quarterfinals until the finals will be a knockout match. Um, those games will be played in five sets both. That's correct. So, uh, for this third game, it is Pool C. Mga kasama nila dyan ang uh, California Academy at Arellano University. Earlier, naglaro na kanina ang, of course, Pool B and D. So, uh, marami pa tayong aabangan para sa larong ito. Pag-usapan natin ang uh, FEU de Leman. And uh, for today's game, it will be headed by assistant coach um, Emmanuel Briones Pansamantala. At uh, sabi ka dito ni Coach Emmanuel, you know, hindi naging rigid yung training nila because the, the girls have, have to go to school. Pero um, nakikita natin kung uh, paano nila talaga may execute yung mga pinaghandaan nila during the training. Medyo uh, meron na din silang experience sumali sa ibang liga. On the other side of the court for uh, St. Clair College of Caloocan, ang head coach naman nila si Jeline Escobar, which is also a alumni of, of this uh, St. Clair. Okay, um, these two teams, um, FEU being part of the UAAP uh, mm -hmm. roster of uh, teams for high school, and St. Clair College of Caloocan, I, they've been uh, also joining a few leagues yes. um, uh, prior coming into this, and you'll see also, no, mad madami silang uh, kumbaga um, practice para dito. That's right, pero first time daw ng St. Clair sumali ng Commercial League so sobrang excited nila at makikita natin yon on the floor. Now, let me turn you over to our venue announcer para masimula na ang larong ito. The action is heating up right here to Shake East Girls Volleyball Invitational League. This is match number three featuring the FEU D. Baby Tamaraos versus the St. Clair College of Caloocan Lady Saints. Let's meet both teams starting with the St. Clair College of Caloocan Lady Saints. Led by their team captain number seven, Faith Emas. Their first leave it on number six, Abigail Lacinto. Here come their teammates. Number one, Andrea Begata. Number two, Jessica Ong. Number three, Jael Moraga. Number five, Brill Tomines. Number 10, Krill Aculado. Number 11, Janil Canabre. Number 13, Daniel Datiles. Number 14, Jasmine Rivero. Number 15, Angelica Lavita. Number 18, Patricia Ibardo. Number 20, Margaret Aceras. And their second libero is number 4, Grisel Acosta. And now here come the 4 Eastern University, Baby Tamaraos. Led by their team captain, number 10, Caris Doresco. Number one, Lovely Lopez. Number two, Rain Alonso. Number three, Claire De Ritt. Number six, Krill Pendon. 
Number eight, Princess Tumayo. Number nine, Sheila Pascual. Their first libero, number 14, Caril Sopligo. Number 16, Tierra Cavallero. Number 17, Kathleen Umar. Number 20, Shiren Nidia Villa. Number 25, Christine Ramos. And their second libero is number 19, Aldria Beltran. Officials for match number three. First referee, Justin Cruz, national referee. Second referee, Paul Henry Pramil, national referee. Our girls from both teams, FEU, of course, are sporting their gold and green uniforms. Para naman ito sa same player, it's blue and yellow. Itong uh, uh, same player na banggit ni Coach Jeline, na sobrang exceeded ng kanilang preparation uh, for this tournament. But um, since it's their first time to join, yung ganito kalaking liga, they are as, as well as excited at uh, sobrang eager makatapat yung mga teams na meron tayo dito. Uh, FEU is also a known uh, team for UAAP and dito nila mag-engage also kung bagay yung kanilang uh, in preparation for the next uh, season for the UAAP. Mm. Uh, if I'm not saying they're on the top four for the la on the last uh, season. So, and there are four. Yes. I can see their height. Uh, yes, there are four. So, magandang testo para sa Saint Clair. That's correct. Makikita mo na agad yung layo ng diferensya pagdating sa tangkad nitong FEU. And uh, alam naman natin their volleyball program maganda rin naman, you know, from high school going to to college. And we've seen them play as well yung uh, women's team nila in our preseason nung uh, ba? Shaky Super League so ang ganda uh, we will see how uh, they will progress and uh, to begin our starting lineups pasa na natin sa ating venue announcement Starting lineup for both teams starting with the FEU Baby Tamaraos their team captain, number 10, Clarice Noresco. Number one, Lovely Lopez. Number two, Reina Alonso. Number five, Parisia Arciaga. Number eight, Princess Tumayao. Number 16, Kiera Caballero. And their starting libero is number 14, Caril Sopligo. Head coach for the Baby Tamaraos is Rodrigo Del Rosario. And now here comes the starting lineup for the St. Clair College of Galoocan Lady Saints. Their team captain, number seven, Faith Emmons. Number three, Jahil Muraga. Number 11, Janil Senabre. Number 13, Daniel Datiles. Number 18, Patricia Ibardo. Number 20, Margaret Aceras. And their starting libero is number six, Abigail Asinto. Head coach for the Lady Saints is Jeline Escobar. And uh, this is the starters for FEU Lopez and Alonzo Dairit Arsaga. 
Loresco Caballero Libero, it's a career suplico. For uh, St. Clair, it's Moraga, of course, and Dadiles in the middle. Rivero and uh, Emas naman ang magka opposite. Lastly, Aceras and uh, Ebardo on the opposite side. Abigail Jacinto, their first libero. Ang uh, lalaro on the floor for Coach Jeline Escobar. This will be a good testing ground for St. Clair. This will be their first time uh, joining yes. a, uh, parang a club. Uh, sorry, a uh, competition mm -hmm. na parang gantong kalaki. Actually, this is also okay no, for Shakey's na to invite all teams uh, to see the grassroots already that to the potential that we can get uh, for the future of uh, volleyball. Well, hopefully, um, in the next season, mas madagdagan pa itong ating mga teams from uh, all over the country as we begin our first set. And this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. It's FEU getting the first point of the game. Spike by the outside hitter, Lopez. High leaper. Mm -hmm. Good first ball by St. Clair. Hitting from the opposite, pero nakuha yan FEU. Caballero. The dog chance, ibibigay ulit for the girls in gold and green. And that time, again, it's the lovely Lopez. I like the energy and aggression, mm -hmm. of aggressiveness of uh, FEO ngayon. No? Parang wala. Kumbaga, normal lang. Tinggalaw natin, ito yung ang natin. Ito dapat yung pacing natin. Tama lang, no? Yung pinapakita nilang energy and consistency. As uh, Tumayaw will get a point from the service area. Three straight points ang nakuha agad dito ng FEU. Good up by Lopez. Babawi siya. Off speed and she is successful. Good uh, read by Lopez. Kanina in that earlier you know, sequence, nakapag-set up ang St. Clair. Nga lang hindi nila natapos you know, yung rally. And that ended in favor of FEU. We'll see. Oh. Okay. Chance for FEU. But uh, that was well read by Acosta de Libero. Although... Violation committed on the side of St. Clair. Five straight points for FEU. Makapatawag ng timeout dito. Si Coach Jeline Escobar. Now, early on pa lang nakalamang na yung FEU. Ano ba ang dapat nilang gawin? Uh, si FEU, kumbaga tamang uh, energy, tamang uh, kumbaga galaw nila. They've been anticipating pretty well. Si St. Clair on side, medyo nagkaka- Jitters pa sila, nagka, hindi pa sila masyadong wala kanilang galaw. They've been medyo hanging on each other. Hindi sila masyadong talagang aggressive. So maybe that was, they have to regroup. Yes. Hopefully this time out, Coach Jeline mentioned about, you know, just focusing and getting the ball first. Mm -hmm. Makikita mo yung uncertainty sa, sa galaw nila. Kaya kailangan nilang mag-usap, you know, I think that's uh, would is a big factor para kahit pa paano makapag-adjust. And finally get a point. They Chance, have defense, yeah. no? It's uh, the errors piling up for St. Clair which uh nagagamit talaga uh, in their favor ng FEU. They too rattled inside mm -hmm. St. Clair, no? Um, they're like not really communicating. Good first ball. Second ball is there. Defense at the net also present for FU. There is a pass. There is a coverage. And parang also on the net. But the problem is they cannot have the continuity. You know, as you said, yes, I agree on you know second guessing themselves if they will get the ball or not. That's right. 
Again, maganda yung kuha ng first ball. There's an offense, pero that's too much for St. Clair. That's Janil Sinabri. First technical timeout dominated by FE. Mapapanood nyo din po kami sa Plus Network, Facebook, and the Plus Network YouTube at my Plus Network for Shaky Super League and Facebook at Shaky's PH live in CNN Philippines, Cable TV, Solar Sports, and as a Tap Sports where you can watch all the games. And dami na nating platforms for all volleyball fans to show some love and support sa kanilang mga school. Nalo na this is high school. And uh, we have schools down south na hindi nila man makakapunta uh, live dito sa ating venue. So we'll make it easier for everyone para masuportahan nyo pa rin ang inyong mga kupunan. Yes, uh, Plus Network and Shakey's and Aces have mm. been this, uh, making this platform to be reached out of all over, I guess, Philippines, you know. Uh, to see also the other talents Correct. there. Maingan nyo silang sumali on the next yes. tournament. being committed that time by uh, Patricia Ebardo. Pero earlier already gained their first point. Good Lopez. Serve. And it's an ace for Lopez. It also shows his um, FEU showing that um, they have respects on uh, mm -hmm. for St. Clair. That's correct. And this serve of the game is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Back to back for lovely Lopez. And you know, showing that respect na we don't know the opponent, but we'll try our best. Our best effort kami palagi on every point. Actually, not on every match, but every point. That's correct. Look at the physique of lovely Lopez. No, nakita mo matangkad, lean. Ang dami. Service cargado, palo cargado. May leaping ability. That's correct. And this is Alonso naman sa unahan ang pupuntos para sa FEU. St. Clair. He wants uh, to stop the bleeding right here. Calling for timeout. Nakaputos na sila ng isa. Pero FEU pagbalik. Sunod-sunod naman yung uh, pagkuha nila ng points sa service area pa lang. They've been consistent also. No? Dapat tuloy-tuloy lang. Hindi sila mag-relax. And I think St. Clair naman should just, just regroup. Breathe. One good pass and one good point at a time. So this is the, the challenge. Actually, lalo na pag women's volleyball. But I remember my coach saying, si Coach Vip Esada, mga babae ito sobrang emotional. Like, once you commit an error, parang hirap ka na makabalik. Right? Pero pagdating sa, sa ganitong laban, what do you think? Anong klaseng uh, uh, change ba? Or al alteration ng dapat? Dapat lang talaga. Court awareness, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, always on the energy of kukuha tayo. Always aggressiveness. Katulad yan. I think the uh, St. Clair is already, you know, starting this up with all that energy. Huwag lang sila mahinaan ang laban. Tuloy-tuloy lang. Sabi mo, presence of mind. At nakita nga doon yung butas on the side of FEU's court. Drop ball. Good read by St. Clair. Off speed. Successful for Embardo. Another soft spike. Having just a blockers touch the ball. Good idea. Hindi kailangan power, hindi kailangan pala basta variation of shots ang importante. Not good recognition as well pagdating sa opensa nila. Caballero was left wide open at the net and she took advantage of that. 
another lefty. Patangkad siya, lefty, another uh, player to look out for this conference. Ang taas pa nung siko niya, kaya talagang yung reach, mo, hindi, hindi maaabutan ng blockers yun. Good first ball. Violation! A net violation on FEU. St. Kers is um, getting those points, forcing FEU to do those errors, those small errors, which is also a good uh, kumbaga, ano, discarte. That's correct. No, when, like, when you had that chance para makaarangkada to get the point, dun, dun naman magkaka-error. Well, that will just make it more difficult. Diba, for your team. Pero syempre, babawi yan. Pasa tayo ulit. Dapat sa St. Clair. One good receive. No, Nasat yung bola. But it turned out to be overset. And uh, of course, FEU took charge of that ball. Rain Alonso. Kaya nga, wala na siyang uh, other choice. Basta hampasin lang niya yun. It's a freebie. Chance for FEU. What a hit for Alonso. Now down the line. It's a good hit by Alonso. Blockers were right there. And it's still FEU on top as we head on to our second technical timeout. Back here inside San Andres Sports Complex with our fun family pizza of the game. And this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Mukhang tuwan-tuwa sila sa kanilang napapanood. Yes, dumadaming tao dito sa loob ng San Andres Sports Complex. Good adjustment for St. Clair. But still, it's Loresco, uh, the tall girls of FEU, really aggressive at the net. They're all towering over that net. Mm. Seventeen serving four. Good hit, but Maayos din ang coverage dito ng FEU Lopez from the back. Tug up. No string of errors happening here on the side of St. Clair. It's a double on the setter. F oh, sorry, St. Clair. Mm -hmm. Now this is still Kiara Caballero. Service area. Giving up a service error. Puntos ang ibibigay para sa St. Clair. Haba-haba ang habulin dito ng St. Clair. At nadagdagan pa yan dahil sa service error ni Ebardo. It's a total team effort on the side of FEU. Kaya naman ganito, uh, kalaki ang kanilang kalamangan. And they are still steady. Okay. Running attack. Was dug. Down the line attempt for Aceras. Uh, too much angle in that last hit. If 
CPU trying those, those plays, running mm -hmm. attacks and the quick hits, getting the middle involved. Like, uh, ganito yung laki ng lead mo. Siyempre, malakas yung loob mo, lalo na as a setter, to, you know, utilize all your attackers. Kasi, di ba wala ka ng uh, hinahabol? You are at a very, very comfortable lead. But Maga, it, pwede na siyang mag-try ng iba, yes. na parang we could, you know, this is a game situation eh. Mm. So, we have to see what works for us. Well, well that's a great effort. On the side of St. Clair by uh, Faith Emmas, the center. Hindi yun na-anticipate ng depensa ng FEU. I think that's, um, you know, the disadvantage, I can say. Kasi dahil malaki yung lamang nila, a bit complacent, right? Not anticipating those uh, kind of shots. It's a good spike by St. Clair. Solo block. Good block. Another one. The second time around, Lovely Lopez uh, put you know, too much power para hindi na siya mabantayan that time. Locker was there, so it's too powerful lang talaga yung fight. Daniel Datiles, ang ganda nung unang uh, block niya against Lopez. Nakakarami na ng service case itong FEU. At isa pa yun sa malaking factor why they are leading here big. Yes. Services have been uh, pretty solid and consistent mm -hmm. with FEU. But on St. Clair's side, dun sa nakamukha ng errors. That time, Aceras able to uh, gain a point from her attack. Power hit by Aceras. Single block, but wala sa tiny blocker. That's why it was out. This is the center of St. Clair. Maya, solo block again. Good timing. Good block. Miss hit by Lopez, pero nakuha yan na St. Clair. We're having a rally right now. And Lopez will find the line. Putos pa rin yan para sa kanyang uh, kuponan. Since now we're getting, you know, more exchanges of the ball. Means that they're just gonna warm up, na sila, nag-init na sila, and getting the hang of this match. Already at set point for FEU. What a read right there by FEU. That is Pal Parisha Arshaga. Parang napakandali lang nung ginawa niya, you know, seeing the attack coming from Margaret Aceras. And it is uh, FEU taking on the first set, 25-7. to 7.
at uh, makakasama din natin of course well, some of our celebrities earlier that's uh, Daniel Defonso in the house as we take a look at our highlights um, of the first, uh, first set it was all power by FEU yes dominance on FEU giving those uh, variation shots by Lopez mm -hmm. made the same player guessing on what they will do uh, they were the energy and kumbaga, the kum, kumpiyansa ng FEU coming into the first set. Kitang-kita mo pa naman. Kitang-kita mo. So, sana yun din yung magawa ng St. Clair para lang din on this second set for their advantage. That's correct. Medyo matagal nag-init yung uh, St. Clair during the first set. And, you know, um, nat nakuha ng FEU yung advantage because of the errors as well na nakukuha dito ng St. Clair and that's a big factor uh, for them to get the, sec the, the first set as we begin the second and this is brought to you by Shakey Super Delivery order your favorite thing from pizza and chicken and mojos now that was a net violation error by the middle blocker of St. Clair she had the right idea but sumabit sa net yung kanyang kamay you know it, they've been committing those uh, errors during the first set, yung mga minor errors, lalo na yung double contact violation, and uh, yun, yun din yung nakadagdag for uh, FEU to be given more points. And I just mentioned double contact violation. Those small things ang napapalayo ng score ng FEU sa St. Clair. Mm -hmm. So they have to minimize those errors so may, para makadikit sila at kumbaga maging magandang laban for this second set. Yeah, during uh, the, the huddle, before we start the second set, everyone on the side of St. Clair, very aggressive. Alam yun, uh, makikita mo na gusto nilang manalo. Eh. Everyone was saying something about how to improve what to do moving on to the second set. Pero tingnan natin kung paano nila ma-execute yung mga sinasabi nila sa teammates nila. This is already the third straight point for uh, FU. Good serve again by the setter. And that's a powerful attack coming from Margaret Aceras. Now they're showing what they can do. Walang takot, no? Malo lang siya. No, in, my, in my interview earlier with Coach Jeline, sinasabi niya, itong si Aceras, yun yung kanyang inaasahan. No pagdating sa pensa and the one who will lead the team. Well, adjustment is uh, what we've seen in that last sequence. Galing dito kay Lovely Lopez. It was a good block. Actually, a good read by St. Clair, but it was just too powerful for Lopez on that spike. And she's a leaper. Kita mo yung taas ng talon niya. Sharp serve. Seras again hitting. Lopez ang magbigay uh, dito. Emma's Libero giving this one. First to Senabre. Good coverage for St. Clair. Good rally that we're having. Another good receive mm -hmm. by this Libero. And then ang basa. Off speed. Hey, oh, Emma's, ba, Emma's new. Uh, kung saan dadalhin o mapupunta yung bola. It's a good try by Emma. She was there. Beaten lang siya konte, But a good shot by FAU. Five serving one. <laughs> Good effort by the Libero. Maganda yung kanyang pinapakita in the previous uh, sequences. Pero dito, medyo mataas yung kuha niya on the first ball. And that's another error by St. Clair. Acosta, papasok. The second libero of St. Clair. It's a and good try by St. Clair. Correct, correct. Lovely Lopez continues her work at the service area. 
pinaka-convert ng St. Clair. Opposite side. And uh, there was only one person left doon sa backcourt ng St. Clair. And that is Patricia Ebardo. Magandang adjustment dito ng FEU. First technical timeout, FEU on top. So watching a 2023 Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament live po tayo on Plus Network and live tayo also dito sa Nadres Sports Complex. This is the Sheila Salaysay and Holly Reyes bring you the action of our third game, FEU and St. Clair of Akaloocan where FEU takes the first set and they continue to display dominance dito sa pangalawang set natin. But that was a good spike by St. Clair using the hands of the blockers for that point. But uh, this is Aceras, also the team captain of St. Clair. Good serve. Service ace. <laughs> We oh, need more of that yes. for para makadikit tayo sa match na ito. That's a needed point for the girls of Coach Jaleed. Almost a point there for St. Clair. Chance. And smart attack by Senabre. Using again the hands of the tall blockers of FEU. Alam niya kasi disadvantage on the height, but ginamit na lang niya yung kamay ng blockers. That's right. St. Clair building a run here for serving eight. And that ball will sail out. Nice try on the serve. Nice try hard serve. Just sailed out. <laughs> FEU is on top by five. Did you see? MS, I think this one will be open. Solid defense at the net for FEU. This is a solid block by Nordesco. Her hands were up. Position, time right. You know, the defense of St. Clair, you know, caught off guard. Wala talagang coverage. The first ball. Thomas. Adjustment by Senabre. It's too close on the net. Mm -hmm. That time, good point attack by uh, Clarice Loresco. advantage of that free ball situation and the fact that walang nag block you know uh, sa harap niya chance for St. Clair Lopez was there nandun na siya natapatan na yung bola but still medyo malayo siya sa net allowing the ball to enter their court coach Jaleen of course, needs a reinforcement right here. Called for timeout. Mas maganda uh, yung napinapakita dito ng Saint Clair. Pero ano pang kulang nila, Holly? Uh, aggressiveness. Uh, maybe timing on the block. They get those check balls. Eh. Pero wala lang silang tamang timing. FEU has been uh, nasa stop nasa stop nila yung pot bola. Pero hindi nila na convert into points. Eh. Right. So I guess more on that timing. Gelling more. Communication is important. I think yun na lang konti pa. Uh, pwede na silang dumikit on this set. Yes, that's uh, going to be a bit tough for 
St. Clair. Nakikita natin kanina that, uh, of course, Aceras, you know, showing leadership because of the points she's gaining. Pero kailangan pa nila ng uh, maramaramang ganon. And uh, speaking of uh, adding more points, that's the Tiles in the middle. Did she know what she wanted to do? It's just, medyo may situation pa siya eh, kaya medyo nag-aalangan pa. But alam niya na yung kailangan niyang gawin eh. Buta siya doon ang FEU and mm -hmm. she wanted to put the ball. Confidence lang. That's right. Good serve. Off speed, off the block, uh, rather. Chance for St. Clair. Yeah. Good up by Datiles. But hesitation on what to do with the second ball. Ito ang nangyari sa side ng St. Clair. And uh, that is Jahil Muraga. Good Sayang up. yung Sayang. mga ganong depensa, no? That could boost the morale Correct. of the team. Solid pa naman yung pagkaputo niya. Another quick attack! You see the confidence now on St. Clair getting those good passes and making those uh, powerful hits. That's right, and she stayed true to her word. Ganina ba? Diba, inamin niya na siya yung may malen ngayon. Babawi siya. Hopefully, they can do more. No, and getting those kind of points and attack. Good save by the Libero. Quick! The second time around, and that is successful for Loresco. Another point by Loresco. Ngayon siya naman yung nagpapakita ng points ngayon mm. second set. The setter of FEU acknowledging the uh, middle attackers. That's correct. Ebardo, magbibigay ng free ball sa FU. Another one. Maganda yung decoy nung setter. Kaya nahihirapan yung blocker ng St. Clair. Basahin ko sa pupunta si Loresco. That's correct. Kita mo yung play nila. It was a back quick attack. Even the blockers of St. Clair, hindi nila in-anticipate na ganun yung magiging play. Was that too much excitement or just misreading the ball? But then again, an error for St. Clair. Puntos para sa FEU. And uh, FEU leading here, heading to our second technical timeout. Shaky super fans of the game. Nakita mo naman ang sino sinusuportahan nila. And this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Pascual. Miss hit. Right? Yes. Yes. Miss hit pero pumasok pa din. Oh, that's Sheila Marie Pascual. We have the same name. <laughs> Bagong pasok dito si Pascual and yun yung mga, how can I say, lucky point or lucky break. Chance again for FEU. Pinulo. Good read by Emmas. Opportunity for St. Clair. And uh, everyone was just looking at each other on the side of FEU. That's a quick one for Pascual as Dudley Lopez is injected, replacing Sheila Marie Pascual. Okay. 
this is uh, Patricia Ebardo. Nagpamigay ulit ng puntos para sa FEU. Mas tumadali yung trabaho ng FEU because of the errors being committed here on the side of St. Clair. Substitutions on for coach Emmanuel Briones. Umayaw is being replaced right here by Christine Ramos. Let's see. Nag-change siya ng setter. So let's see. Ano naman yung gagawin ng FEU setter ngayon on this second set. That's correct. It's serving 18. Lopez adjusting to the setup. Good coverage. Opportunity for FEU again. Running attack. Nabasa ni Emma's ang drop. Ganda adjustment by Lopez. Mababa yung bola. Pero nahabol pa niya yun. If you look at this setup, Like, hindi talaga makontrol ng St. Clair yung opensa ng FEU. This time, it's a good first ball. Aceras using her left did not work. Good cover. Lopez, the start getting the attack line on the other side. And kumuulan ng palo dito si Lopez. No, if you are the spider, you will really love, you know, mabigyan ng ganon ka daming bola. From first game to the second mm. match to the third match, you will see medyo yung sino yung magiging people or players that we have to look after. Correct. On this competition, service ace. Good recognition on the open, actually, area of the court for St. Clair. Ang laki talaga ng butas. And that makes, uh, the responsibility of the libero more challenging as she needs to cover a bigger portion of the court for her team. Another middle blocker who is more taller than the one she replaced, I think, is now in the court. Sino, ano bang pinapakain ng mga magulang nito? Nakita natin yung mga players natin since first game. No, ang tatangkad, high school pa lang. I know. And I guess it's really evolved, no? High school competition is really evolved. Mm -hmm. To a higher level. Even the whole of volleyball here in the Philippines has evolved to a higher level. But high school now, you will see them having jump serves, Correct. jump sets. Yes. Even yung mga discarded nila, no? So nakikita mo yung talagang ano, involvement of the program. And the versatility of the players you can... Uh, or they can play all positions, diba? From the libero, the center, open spiker. Hindi nakakatawa eh. I guess this was a good experimenting stage for the coaches kung sino ang okay sa isang gatong position. Na-experience po din ba yun before? Na-convert lang ako. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting uh, that these players get a taste of the different positions, diba? From my mom's time, nung araw, sinasabi niya, pag setter ka, yun lang ang trabaho mo. Hindi ka na pwedeng maging spider. Uh, eventually, coaches are trying to yes. change and evolve kung saan ka talaga fit na Ma position. Pumasok yung libero, the setters, you know, have the option of becoming a libero as well. You know, it's a... Uh, Margaret Aceras, again, being crafty with her moves, but still is successful. Even if you was caught off guard on that mm -hmm. point. But uh, that was, you know, wasted because of that error. Sa bilis ng mga laro natin, kailangan nilang makapag-adjust. You know, dahil um, they will not have enough time para makabawi. This is only best of three, again, for the preliminaries. 
Ramos setting this one up. Outside. Alonso, yes. Napalakas yung palo. Eleven. You know, serving 24. Good serve again by St. Clair. Hindi na pinatagal dito ng FEU. And uh, that is, of course, uh, hitting from the opposite. What a game para sa FEU. 25 to 11 is our score. And uh, napakabilis ng panalo dito ng FEU. Yes, uh, FEU dominating on this match. Uh, you see, Conte merong sparks si St. Clair, but kapos pa din ang kanilang mga efforts and FU uh, well, winning the two sets. That's correct. We'll see who is our MVP of the match when we return. Hello? Yes, 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 yes. Congratulations. Thank you. As they take home their first win, 25 to 7, 25 to 11 against St. Clair College of Kaloohan. You know, it's a total team effort para sa FEU. Pero isa talaga ang nanguna dito sa kanilang team. Yeah, the MVP of the match, uh, the open spiker, Miss Lopez, uh, dominating them. Uh, lovely pa man din yung name niya. So it, it's a lovely day for Miss Lovely Lopez. <laughs> Congratulations on being the MVP of the That's match. That's correct, Thank with you. 13 points. And of course, this player of the match is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken at Mojo's now. And uh, congratulations again, lovely Lopez. On your first game dito sa Shaky Super League, talagang nakita namin how aggressive you are sa every point na ginagawa mo with 13 points the whole time. Uh, ano ba yung naging uh, preparation mo in coming into your first game? Um, yung preparation po namin, ano, nag basic training lang po kami sa FEU and nag, hindi lang naman po sa akin yung ano, uh, nagtulungan po kami lahat, uh, tiwala po sa sarili, tiwala sa isa't isa, Lord. Kay Lord po, uh, thank you po, thankful po ako kay Lord na nandyan po siya lagi, na nag-guide sa akin. Kaya po siguro nakuha ko tong MVP and best player. Okay, so lovely. This is your first match. So, sino bang nilook forward yung makalaban on the next few matches? Meron ba kayong parang kumbaga ina-eye on or parang kumbaga 
kasi galing sa UAAP, for sure, iba na kalaban niya. Sino ang sino gusto maka, makalaban? Um, siguro po yung Adamson. Um, matagal po namin silang nililook forward na matalo or makalaban po. Sana po makalaban namin sila this, ano, um, Conference. Very soon, yes, yeah, very soon. definitely. Uh, well, hindi definitely, pero titingnan natin. Pero meron ko pa mga gusto pa salamatan, no, Bati Anne, lovely. Um, hello po sa Navarro family sa Sambales and thank you po sa support ng FEU, mga teammates ko po. Uh, sana po panoodin niyo po ulit kami sa next game namin. Uh, yan lang po. Thank you. Maraming salamat and once again congratulations to our MVP of the match and uh, you will get of course a super card and a pizza galing sa Shakey's. Ayan, balikan natin ang mga nangyari nitong first and second set between FEU and St. Clair. This was you know, maaga talagang umarangkada itong FEU not allowing St. Clair to get their point. Yes, uh, you will see now be dominating the match today. Uh, first set pa lang, pinakita niya na yung mga power, powerful spikes niya mm -hmm. at saka yung mga services niya. Um, nahirapan si St. Clair to get those powerful serves uh, and they had to regroup. Uh, medyo na wala sila on the first part of the first set. That's correct. And uh, kaya naman, talagang kinuha ng FEU yung advantage na yun and uh, they ended you know, early on for uh, the first set, only giving or allowing St. Clair to have seven points. Pagdating naman ng second set, St. Clair nakakabawi. Unti-unti, but still, you know, ah, hindi nila ma-control or makuha yung momentum on, uh, in favor of their side. Yes, uh, on the second set, Nos Loresco naman in the middle, founding the points. Uh, Doon niya, dun sila medyo nag-capitalize on, on those quick plays because, uh, Sinclair was giving easy serves and three balls to FEU. That's correct. Aceras on the side of St. Clair well, uh, showing some leadership. Also, nakagawa din siya ng puntos sa services at opensa niya. That's correct. And uh, there you have it. Our third game of the day. At napanood nyo na nga ang ating first three matches. UST winning over Naga College Foundation in three sets. It's Kings Montessori School getting their first victory against Lyceum of the Philippines University, Cavite. And FEU also uh, dominating St. Clair Kaloocan para sa ating first three games. Second three games on your screens yan ang ating aabangan. It's Adamson University going up against Bacolod Taitung. At maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanood and for um, enjoying the games with us on behalf of Holly Reyes. This has been Sheila Salagsay. Makita-kita po tayo sa susunod na laro ng 2023 Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament.